Hello, hello, and welcome to the MoFam Brain Bar. I'm your main brain host, Sarah Ratliff. It is so nice to meet you electronically, and I'm so thrilled that you're here and that I get to talk to you about some of the coolest parts of the money products and business. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we are gonna be covering Monate's signature ingredient, Rejuvenique Oil. It is one of the most beautiful products that we have that does the absolute most for both your hair and your skin. Today, I wanna to give a huge shout out to someone I've never met before, but who is the main brain behind this episode, Deverne Augustus. Most of my information about the Monate Rejuvenique Oil is coming from his online resource, What's In Your Shampoo? And it's an incredible resource. He's got a Facebook page and other resources as well. I highly encourage you to Google him, check him out. I've never met you, Deverne, but thank you, thank you, thank you. You have revolutionized the way I talk about this business and these products. So we're going to just dive right in because there are 15 oils that I want to get through that are part of Rejuvenique and they are all amazing and incredible. So let's start. What is so special about these oils? Why is Rejuvenique by itself different than coconut oil, obsidian oil, all of these other oils by themselves? One is most of them have a molecular structure that is similar to the sebum your body naturally produces. So your body's gonna be able to absorb it better. It's gonna better penetrate both your hair and your skin. So let's see. So these oils are not gonna be laying on the surface of your skin or hair, but they're actually gonna be providing nutrition and other benefits deep into the layers of your body. It's really normal to think that using oils would leave a greasy feeling or kind of a, a, a gross feeling on your hair and skin, but Deverne wants to remind us that that's not the case with these oils or with Rejuvenique. The molecular structure and the weight is key to their ability to being absorbed by the hair and skin, and that's what makes Rejuvenique by itself so different and so much more versatile than other oils on the market. The very first oil that is featured in Rejuvenique is Meadow Foam Seed Oil. When used in skincare, this oil can help protect your skin and form a barrier to hold moisturizer in. The second oil is Obsidian Oil. This oil is molecularly different than most naturally occurring oils, according to Deverne. Um, it is a stronger, more intense moisturizer for both your hair and your skin. It's a very long lasting oil and can quickly heal and penetrate the outer layers of your skin. So it's ideal if you've got redness, dryness, maybe just really sensitive skin. Rejuvenique is gonna be your lifesaver because of the obsidian oil. Next, we have tea seed oil, which restores your proper pH balance. So we talk about a lot how oil treatments when used with Rejuvenique oil can balance the pH level of your scalp because whether it's oily or dry, it's gonna bring it back to the middle where it needs to be. That is because of the tea seed oil quality found in Rejuvenique. Tea seed oil also acts as an effective shield to protect your hair and skin from environmental pollutants. Tea seed oil can also be absorbed very quickly and promotes skin cell growth support and flexibility. So it is beautiful for healing skin, aging gracefully and everything in between. Its benefits to hair specifically are softness, manageability, restore shine, helps retain moisture, protects from pollutants, can even repair damage and split ends, soothes dryness and itchiness and is non-greasy. It's a non-greasy oil. Look how beautiful. All right, that was tea seed oil. Next, we're going to the garden for our ingredients. We've got tomato seed oil, which is an incredible addition to facial creams, shaving creams, moisturizers, and everything in between, and is very suitable for dry, oily, and combination skin. Next, we have carrot seed oil. It's not gonna turn your hair orange, according to Deverne, and it hasn't turned my hair orange yet so far. Um, but it can stimulate hair growth, strengthen your hair root, and add some environmental protection factors from things like sunlight. I'm literally sitting in the sunlight right now. Rejuvenique is helping protect my skin um, and my hair right now. Um, but it also has skin regenerative properties to help promote skin healing. So it'll help with, again, signs of aging, scars, wrinkles, things that maybe you don't love about your skin, Rejuvenique might be able to help. Then we have lemon and lime oil. Lemon oil is specifically effective as a hair tonic to get strong, healthy hair, plain and simple. It's also gonna help eliminate dandruff. 
The lime essential oil specifically has an antiseptic property, an antiviral property, and can serve as a disinfectant for hair, viruses, fungi, bacteria, um, same on your skin, and just be very restorative. Citrus oils in general are antiseptic and anti-inflammatory and are usually really good for acne prone skin. Rejuvenique and Nominate products are not designed to target acne, but they might be able to help address some of the root causes of your breakouts. So they've got cleansing benefits and anti-inflammatory properties all in this one oil with several different ingredients. So those might be able to help, especially when used on your skin, it might help with some of your breakouts and some of your acne spots that maybe you don't love. Then we've got bergamot fruit oil, which is also a citrus oil. So it's got the same cleansing benefits and anti-inflammatory properties as citrus, as other citrus oils. It protects against bacteria growth and inhibits the growth of germs, virus, and fungi on your hair and skin and promotes healing and prohibits infections. And it also has the ability to help scars and other marks on your skin disappear. Not saying Rejuvenique is gonna erase every blemish you've ever had, but it does have bergamot fruit oil in it, which is very healing. So if you do have scars, this might help reduce the, the appearance of those. I know we talk a lot about how Rejuvenique as a whole can help reduce the appearance of scars, but it's because of bergamot oil and another one of the oils I'll talk about here in a little bit. We also have baobab oil. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I hope I'm just not butchering like all of these names, by the way, but I'm just trying my best. Baobab oil is great for scalp conditioning, adds volume to your hair, leaves your hair very soft and silky, is packed with vitamins, protects your hair from sun damage and other free radicals and pollutants that can cause extra damage, soothes and nourishes your hair and skin, and it's also packed with vitamin C and helps produce collagen. Collagen is something naturally found in our bodies that starts depleting after we turn 25 or so and is essential for nail, hair, and skin health. Next, we have Buriti fruit oil. Recent studies have found that this oil can help filter and absorb cancer-causing UV rays from the sun. Skin cancer-causing UV rays, we can use Rejuvenique on our skin. This is not an SPF. This is not to be used in, you know, in place of sunscreen, but it can maybe help filter out some of those UV rays. UV rays can also damage your hair. It can cause brittleness, dryness, hair discoloration, you name it. So adding this to your hair, whether a couple drops on dry hair or doing oil treatments can be very beneficial. This oil, Buriti fruit oil, has also been used in Brazil for ages to treat hair because it's proven to increase shine, reduce split ends during drying and styling, and can also reduce friction when you're combing your wet or dry hair. A lot of us cause damage to our hair that we don't even realize when we brush or when we style. That oil, Buriti fruit oil, found in Rejuvenique, is going to help protect and heal your hair in light of styling, brushing incorrectly, and all of that. Next, we have coconut oil. A lot of us know the benefits of coconut oil. It's a great hair conditioner. It's very good for moisturizing your hair, but using it by itself can be a little heavy, a little oily, a little greasy. When mixed and formulated with all of these other oils, your hair and skin can better absorb it to get its beneficial properties. So coconut oil is very beneficial, but I recommend using the Rejuvenique blend instead so your hair and skin can better absorb the coconut oil. Coconut oil also moisturizes and protects your scalp from the fungi that causes dandruff, which is really cool. Um, a healthy scalp means healthy hair. Next, we have Manoy oil or gardenia flower extract, which is a precious oil that is literally just going to penetrate the upper layers of your skin to make it feel more soft and supple and just moisturized and healthy. It's also been shown in testing to improve the condition of dry and damaged hair. So another good oil for both hair and skin. Next, we have Moringa seed oil, which is, according to Deverne, just as good for your hair as it is for your skin. It's a powerful hair conditioner, and Deverne recommends a hot oil conditioning treatment to solve most hair-related problems. And you might have to Google what that is because I'm not really quite sure. This oil can help leave your hair very conditioned, very manageable. It can be combed a little easier, and it can strengthen your hair roots to help with hair loss. 
Not that it's gonna save or prevent your cause of hair loss, but it might help heal your scalp and promote the retention of healthy hair. Next, we have sunflower seed oil, which is just gonna help replenish and soothe your skin, and it's incredible, especially for dry skin. So, snag some Rejuvenique for your dry skin. Lastly, we have Pecli oil, which is an anti-aging, conditioning, and anti-inflammatory oil. It has been traditionally used in shampoos and moisturizers in Brazil as well. It has a high content of vitamin E and vitamin A, which both protect the hair and skin, and it can help your skin from showing blemishes, improve your scar healing, and add a glow to your skin, as well as help prevent premature aging. Pecli oil has also been used traditionally for treating eczema and skin lesions. So I can imagine paired with things like the sunflower seed oil and some of the other moisturizing oils, that it's really good for dry skin, especially conditions or blemishes. It's not gonna heal it. It may not take the place of you know medicine or anything like that at all, but it may just be a natural way to help um, heal your skin and your hair. Needless to say, my hair and my skin love this oil. We have a light version and a regular version. The light version is the exact same formula, exact same oils I was just talking about. It's just a little bit less intense. So it's very good for my oily skin peeps. I love using it on my skin just to give me a nice, texture and a nice even glow and let me know if we can hook you up but I hope this was helpful